Hi, welcome to another edition of Seven's Pit. I mean, uh, quarantine arts and crafts. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, crazy times in the world. Uh, uh, I have to do something to keep myself amused and I can't work on this the whole time uh, and get the workshop going um, just because I'm going to go nuts if I'm just constantly. So I got to do something just to goof around for a while. So uh, we're making a solar thermal heater that will hopefully heat up uh, this workshop. So uh, in, in the last episode, I talked about how um, I had my, my one inch, it's some sort of vinyl or uh, type tubing that I had in the box and I just didn't feel like it was transferring the heat from the box to the vinyl inside the box I was getting like 72 degrees Celsius uh, I was getting about 20 degrees less than that for some reason in the vinyl tube so I didn't even hook it up I didn't even pump water through it yet I decided I'm gonna ditch that and we'll just go with copper because copper is gonna it it does better at transferring thermal heat um, and uh, It'll look a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, you know, I'm putting it on video so you can watch me not know what I'm doing. So, uh, all right. So I've got four pieces of 12 foot half inch copper. I've got a bunch of fittings. I've got some uh, 90 degree angles. I got a whole bunch of tees to make my manifold out of. I have some uh, little fittings that I can, I can sweat these on and then uh, attach pecs to it. And um, I guess the, that's all there is to say about that. So I'm gonna build uh, basically manifold, manifold, and then a bunch of vertical tubes. The water will come in the bottom, it'll flow up, and then it'll flow out the top. When I turn the pump off, it'll all rush back in through, back out through the pump line. That's the idea. So let's just start building stuff. <laughs> Okay, here's the idea. So uh, I've got a bunch of these cut at uh, 32 inches, and then this will make up my manifold, top and bottom. These will go in between uh, all of these bits. I'll have a little spigot on the end, uh, on the top and the bottom. And so now all I have to do is cut half inch pieces to go in between all of these. So uh, yeah. I have another idea.
couple hours of soldering, <laughs> maybe three. <laughs> and ugh, this is uh, this is what I ended up with. So on on one end, uh, output, and then down here at the bottom, right here, uh, input. Hopefully it will work. Uh, I I sort of tested it. I think it's watertight. <laughs> I'm not the best uh, uh, sweat solder, sweater, sweater. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I guess if it doesn't work out, I can always, uh, you know, make a big grill or something out of it. Um, okay, I have a couple of little uh, odds and ends that I need to fix up so that I can hook up my PEX tubing, and then um, then we'll take it outside and hook it up. <laughs> So I realized after I got the barrel in here, um, I should probably finish the drywall first. <laughs> so I got the lower sections of drywall in anyway. Um, just when when I fill this barrel up with water, it's gonna be kind of heavy. <laughs> I don't 55 gallons, uh, and I don't know how much it it weighs this much. That's that's how much it's gonna weigh. <laughs> um, I, I built a little box. I've got a couple of PEX tubes coming through. Um, and those feed to the outside. I'm going to angle, put some angles on them so they'll go straight down into here. Uh, I had to cut an access point in the top of this barrel because it, it has two little uh, uh, screw hole access points, but I couldn't get the pump in through there. So uh, I've, I've got a little flap now I can shove the thing in there and maybe that'll work. Uh, I'm, I might actually just cut a hole and leave it at that. Um, so let's go outside and see what I've done out there. Okay, so I've got my um, contraption installed. <laughs> um, I've got this, I, I don't know what's gonna happen to these. I, ha I have these little half inch um, uh, pipe holders, they're little plastic holders. So I've got this standing up off the back about an inch and a half. Hopefully those little plastic things don't get all soft and melty. Um, on the back, I've, I've put the pipes through the back and I've sweat on PEX, uh, fittings. So, uh, now all I have to do is just run the PEX from here over to the building. All right. I've got this all plumbed in. Uh, I've sealed that little hole. We can, we can make that prettier later if we, and the piping we can make prettier later if it works. Uh, just for a prototype and a test. I'm not really gonna worry about it. It can be scraggly. That's all right Let's go look at the panel It's starting to get dark out and uh, the lights are kicking on so uh, I'm gonna run this with my head blocking the light so I look angelic <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Okay, so you can see I've got this this plumbed in in the back I ran a piece of wood from the panel to the building just because I don't want to run this pipe along the ground and I also need it to stay somewhat level so that when the pump goes off hopefully a lot of it will drain out. I sort of made a mistake when I popped the hole through the building. Um, I actually went up a lot higher than I had expected so I didn't build this device to be high enough. So I don't think it's going to entirely drain the way it's sitting now but I can always if this works, then one of the things I can improve is this janky stand that I've got going on for the panel. Um, I just basically slap something together to see if it would work. So I can always improve on that. Um, okay, let's uh, let's go inside and turn it on before it gets too dark. This is in a really awkward place to show you what's going on. <laughs> um, all right, we're totally plumbed. Uh, I have I had to make these. Uh, these bendy bits because PEX isn't the most um, flexible. So getting from, from this point to this point and into here was, uh, it, it, I, yeah, it wasn't gonna work. So if you're gonna make one of these, get some, some tubing that flexes so that you can get the hoses in and out. So right now what I, I've just got this so I can, I can, I can, uh, give it a little bit of uh, flex at this point instead of going straight down. Um, so I've got this hooked up. This is a 12 volt pump. And I, I bought a transformer for it that actually has a variable uh, setting um, 
because I want this water to go through at a speed that um, I don't want to go. I don't want it to flow through really fast and not get a chance to warm up. So I thought the variable setting would be good, um, so I can dial it back to like maybe nine volts would would send be strong enough to send it out and through the system, but at a slow enough pace that it would be able to warm up. Um, I'm going to turn it on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> So that's at that's that's 12 volts. I hear bubbling. That's a good sign. I don't know how much um, I don't know how much water this system is going to take to to fill up. I have the return pipe going into the water. Right now, it's only going into the water about five inches. I didn't think we would go down five inches. Um, I would rather have the return line going directly into the water. I don't want to sit and listen to water the whole time. The pump is, uh, it's not too noisy. it's going to take to fill. Five point six degrees on my little camera. Um, okay, so uh, it's been running for about 20 minutes now. The air that's in the line has cycled its way out. I wanted to take a reference on how what the temperature was in here. So five point, whatever I said, 5.6. Um, the room itself, it's, I have two thermometers in here in this little alcove at 7.1 and then over there across the room, it's at seven. So that gives you kind of an idea where we're at. It was a little warmer today. The, the, I, I expect that it's, it's supposed to drop maybe below zero tonight, I think. So this room will probably drop to be about four. Tomorrow we'll see how it, how it does. Um, it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, so I'll turn this thing on, we'll let it run. I'm not gonna hook it up to my little temperature relay yet. I wanna let's play with it for a while and see if it's worth going that far. <laughs> um, so I have a little receptacle that it hooks up to Wi-Fi and there's a little app I can turn it on and off wherever I am. So I'm gonna hook it up to that tonight and then tomorrow, if it's sunny, we'll fire it up and see how it works. I'm going to turn it off tonight. And then I'll do that for the next few days and kind of monitor and see, okay, it got to be this hot outside. We had this much sun outside. How hot did I get this, uh, this tank? And then I'm interested to see too is uh, when I turn it off after, after the sun goes down, when I turn the pump off, how long does this tank retain the heat? Um, is it going to still be warm in the morning? Yeah, we'll find out. Um, so, unfortunately with this video, you don't get results. I don't get results, you don't get results. That's kind of how it works. <laughs> so, I'm going to end the video here. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll play with it for about a week. I'll make some, uh, I'll do some filming of it and give you some updates. And then, uh, so v episode three of this uh, tomfoolery you'll get to find out uh, kind of where we're at. <laughs> uh, so the a couple of good things though is that uh, it's, it has been, it's been running for about 25 minutes or whatever now and uh, we haven't blown out the, the pump yet. I was a little worried about that, a little 12 volt cheap pump. Uh, I was concerned that it wasn't going to be able to push the head that it has to do. I mean granted it doesn't go up very high, it probably only goes up from the, where the pump is to the top point of the little contraption out there, it's probably only about a five, five or six foot lift max. Um, but there is a lot of water in the system. Uh, that, that little contraption holds a bit of water, plus you have all the pipes. So I was a little worried that the pump wasn't gonna be able to pull it off, but it seems to be doing okay. I've got a nice steady, steady stream. Um, another thing I'll play with over the week is uh, I'll, I'll mess around with the flow 
and, and see if I can kind of dial in a sweet spot of, um, you know, the water going out at a certain rate and coming back at a certain temperature. Uh, we'll figure something out with that. Anyway, so I'm going to end the video and uh, we'll see you in about a week. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks for watching.